Hi, how you doing? Justin here, and today we're going to be talking about finding the note names in the first five frets of your guitar. Now, this is a really valuable exercise. It puts the note circle into practice on the instrument, and knowing the notes all in that area of the guitar neck pays huge dividends later on for knowing the notes in the chords that you're playing and being able to manipulate your chords. There's all sorts of benefits, so it's definitely an exercise I recommend that you spend some time working on. Now, the basic idea, if you know the note circle from memory already and you know the names of the notes of the open strings, which you should do by now. The idea here is we're just going to point to any note within the first five frets with our fretting hand finger. So I'm just going to pick that one. And then we start with the open string note. So this is on the fourth string here. I've got my first finger on the fourth fret of the fourth string. So we can use this finger to point with to start off with, but you're better off doing it just with your eyes as soon as you can. So we'd start here, the open string was a D. And if we go up one from that, we know that we go from D to D sharp. We go oh, up one from that, we get to the note E. We go up one from that, we get the note F, because remember there's no such note, there is, there's no note in between E and F. And then we go up one more and we're on our note now, and that's the note F sharp. It's a fairly simple exercise, right? Put your first fi your finger somewhere else. So this time I put it on the third fret of the second string. So we look at the second string, that was the open B string. We go up one fret, that was the note C. Up one more fret, that's the note C sharp. Up one more note, that's the note D. So use your little finger to point along and help you count through your note circle at the start, to start off with. If you want to print out your note circle, that's okay as well. But really those things you want to get into your memory as fast as you can. And then just practice, put your finger down and look at the string. Name the open string and use your eyes to follow up to your first finger. Now the only reason I'm suggesting you stay behind the fifth fret at this stage is just because it's a little easier. If you want to work your way further up the neck, that's okay. You've obviously got a lot further to count if you're up on the, say, the tenth fret. But another little tip that I'll give you for now, the notes on the twelfth fret are exactly the same as the notes on the open strings. Okay, so the 12th fret of the thicker string is the note E, the same as the open string is. Okay, so if you're on the 12th fret of something, let's say the 12th, uh, the 10th fret rather of the fourth string, rather than counting all of the way up from zero fret up to 10, you could start at 12 and count backwards. So you'd go, well, the 12th fret is the note D, the same as the open string, and we count back one to D flat and back another one to the note C. So 10th fret of the fourth string is the note C. Certainly a lot faster than going D, D sharp, E, F, F, you know, etc., all of the way up to there. So you can have a go at doing that, but really at this beginner stage, I'd like you to focus on the, the, the notes on the first five frets of all of the different strings. If you're really good with that, then you could start working further up the neck. But the stuff that we're going to be dealing with in this grade is all going to be based around that uh, first five frets. So hope you have fun with that. Do give it lots of work. If you've got a jam buddy, do it with them. One person points, the other person counts, that kind of thing. Really effective little exercise.